Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bow that goes on top of a birthday cake. These are the things that we're going to need. What we've got is a rolling pin, some corn flour for rolling out, um, something to kind of cut it with, so um, either a roller or a knife. Um, this rotary cutter, um, so this one has just got a uh, little kind of forks in it so it's just going to make a pattern on the edge of the ribbon. Um, your gum paste or flour paste. Um, now what I've got is a selection of greens. Um, you could do them all in the same colour or you could do just one or two. Um, here we've actually got this one which is the Squire's Vine colour. This one, which is the Sugar Flare Kiwi. Uh, this darker green, which is the Walton Leaf Green colour. And this yellow, which is the Sugar Flare in Daffodil. So that's those. And then we've got some edible glue, just a paintbrush to put that on, um, and a template that I've created for each one so that they're all the same size. So this one is six inches long by one inch. And that's just going to create like the loop for the bow. Right, so first of all just knead it so it's quite soft and pliable to use. And you just want to dust the area lightly with some corn flour, just where you're going to roll that out. And just start rolling that out. We want it about three millimeters in uh, thickness. So it's not as thin as you would make it if you were making flowers, because um, you want the, the bow to have some structure. Okay, so that has rolled out about three millimeters there. So all we're gonna do is take our template and add that on and then Right, and then we've got one of our ribbons. So then you wanna take your rotary wheel and just down the edge, add in the pattern. And this is just gonna give it some texture. Um, and I think it kind of makes it look more like a bow really, or like a piece of ribbon. So then you're gonna flip that over and then taking your edible glue, just put a tiny bit of that on the edge. Flip that over, and then all we want to do is cut the corners off so we create a V shape, which will help when we're actually putting them together so that they all kind of slot together. And then open it out slightly, and when you want to leave it to dry, um, I would make these the day before so they've at least got 12 to 24 hours to dry before you construct it, um, else it's all going to kind of fall in on itself. Right, now we need to create between 11 and 13 of these for each bow. Um, sometimes you don't need as many depending on how you lay them out. Sometimes you can slot a few more in if you wanted to. So, that's that and we just need a few more of those in the other colours. The other thing that you're going to need um, is two of kind of the ends of the ribbon that I kind of like to add in. Um, so it kind of looks like you've kind of bought the ribbon up, tied the bow and there's the ends. So for that I'm just going to use uh, a different colour. So I'll grab a white. So what you want to do is roll this out. So it's the same width as the others, so about three millimeters thick. Unlike the ribbon, you'll only need uh, two of these. So what we want to do is just cut, cut two of these out. Okay, so instead of folding these over, what we want to do is just at the ends, just cut the V out of one side, which is going to be the end of your bone. Do the same for that one. There you go. And then, same as before, just run the rotary wheel along the edge. There we go. Right, and then 
then with these ones, what I try and do uh, before they're left to dry is just give them some kind of movement. So bend them up, bend the edges up. And then when these are placed on the cake, it will kind of bring them a little bit more to life. Bring it up like that. Add in some little kinks as if it's not lying flat on the cake. And bring those up. Right, so we just want to leave those with your 11 to 13 um, bow loops um, and then prepare your cake the next day so then we can add them on. Okay, so what I've got is the 13 ribbons that are now made in the four different colours, um, the two ribbon edges and the cake ready to go. Um, I actually decided to cover the edges in green um, instead of having the ribbon in white. <clears throat> so what we've got is it's covered and then just using the same technique as I did uh, with the ribbons and the edging on those, I've just followed through onto these ones but these are made of icing so this is completely edible here. And what you're going to need is just a little bit of the icing that you actually covered the cake in um, because that's what's going to hold our ribbons in place. So we just need a ball of that, that using some edible glue we're just going to attach in the middle and the reason that we use the same colour is just so that it kind of doesn't show up when the ribbons are in there. So what we need to do is um, just figure out what colours you want on the bottom um, and at the front. So I would suggest maybe having uh, one of each colour and what we're going to do is just put five or kind of if you wanted to squeeze in some more that's absolutely fine but what you want to do is just on the tips of each of them where we're going to push them in you just add another bit of edible glue and then we're just going to push our ribbons into them and then once we've kind of done the whole thing and you are perfectly happy with it, what we'll do is just put a little bit of edible glue at the bottom. Um, but I wouldn't do that just yet, just in case you want to move them around slightly. So then what we're going to do is just kind of build up our next level. Um, so you'll see here, so you've filled all the gaps that way. So what we want to do now is fill the gaps this way. So if you take kind of like the opposite colours, so you kind of don't want exactly the same ones kind of touching each other. Okay, so start putting these ones, so they're resting on the ones underneath. And they don't have to be um, straight, you can have them coming down at angles um, or kind of however you would like them. Okay, so then we're going to put the middle sections in. So we've got two left, so I'm going to put this green one on this side and squeeze this one in there. Okay, so I've had a look around it and I think we're kind of missing one in here. So the thing you can do afterwards is have a look at it, turn it all around, kind of move them and space them how you want. So that's just what I'm going to do it now. Okay, so they're spaced how I want them and I'm quite happy with that. So what I've got left now is the two uh, ends of the ribbon. Now you could have put these on at the beginning or um, now the bow's on, I quite like to see where they fit. So you just want to kind of move the cake around and just see where you want them to go. And then you might just want to kind of go around and just underneath, just add a little bit in. Now you're happy with the positioning. So they're just in the exact spot where you want them. There you go. And then another thing that you can just add at the end, which I quite like to do, is I've just created these uh, streamers. So the same uh, gum paste or flower paste as you've used for your bow. And when you're doing them, if you just cut really thin strips um, of that and then with a dowel stick so just your wooden dowels that you would use if you were stacking the cakes you just wrap that around um, that and let that dry and you get these so what I quite like to do with these is I don't know if you can see but you've got like little gaps uh, within them so just to hide those is just kind of add these streamers in 
um, which will just give it a little bit of a more of a fun effect really so you can add those in so yeah i hope you have fun making your own one um and if you wanted to leave any comments then do them below the video um and thank you for watching and i shall see you soon thank you bye